Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to another episode of Miss Universe 2020 Contestants Profile Review and Analysis. <music> Now, Chile has officially crowned the representative for Miss Universe 2020 and it is Daniela Nicolás. But before we proceed, don't forget to follow her on her personal Instagram account which is at Daniela Nicolás. And her Instagram handle is available at the bottom part of the screen. Also, excuse me, don't forget to follow me on my personal Instagram account which is at I am Alvin Cipetero, or you can subscribe to my YouTube channel for more pageant updates. Also, if you wanted to support my channel, you can do so through my PayPal account or you can just send me an email and all of those details are available on the description below. Now, Shockingly for Chile, their last placement was in 2004 and even if they have been sending decent representatives in the previous editions under IMG, still they are not enough to qualify in the finals. Now they are currently betting on their chances to get that placement with Daniela Nicolás. She is 28 years old and she is currently working as a professional actress and currently a student of journalism and sign language. For her national pageant performances during the swimsuit round, I haven't really watched the entire competition so I'm not sure if she was the only one who wore pants or everyone else did but nevertheless I think she looked amazing in it she was super confident loved her personality and her figure looked amazing and she's just rocking those floral pants during that round for the evening gown round I love how she looked in her gown but I'm not sure if I love how she carried that gown I mean when she is posing and not walking I think she looked perfect but when I watched her walk and did her turns, I feel like it, I feel like it isn't the type of walk, pace, and movement and execution for an evening gown round. I mean, I I'll be, to be honest, I was a little bit not really disappointed, but I wasn't wowed during that evening gown round. And that's one thing that I would love for them to polish. For the speech round, I have seen and heard how she spoke during the intro, speech, and final round. I did not understand the question and answer that she gave, so my commentaries are just purely based on her delivery, and I love how she is delivering her answer and her message. I can really feel her confidence, her eloquence, her conviction, and that powerful delivery that even if I don't understand a word, the way she delivered it is already good enough. She doesn't look and sound rehearsed, and she sounded very natural, and she sounded really good. I wish people would confirm that in the comment section, that she is really good because I wanted to know how she responded. I wanted to know her answer to the question. So I really hope someone would be a darling and comment it down below. I mean, I'm talking about the translation of the question and answer. And also, I just think that she did very, very well in those rounds. Again, I didn't understand a word, but based on the delivery, I think she did so, so well. Overall, I think Chile just sent a very very beautiful candidate with Daniela with and with some more polishing. I think she could give a lot of front runners a run for their money. I wish Chile will do it right this year. Since their comeback in 2011, I think she is my favorite so far from Chile. Having said that, Chile is in the Americas and here's my current ranking for that group. Number 10, Costa Rica. Number 9, Panama. I'll put Chile at number 8 as of the moment. I know many of you will be shocked because I really like her. But I feel like I still need to see more. And I have seen already a lot from the ladies who are above her on this list. I just need to see more to be fully convinced. 7, Puerto Rico. 6, Venezuela. 5, Nicaragua. 4, for Canada. 3, USA. 2, Brazil. But my current number 1 for the Americas is Colombia. Laura Olasquaga. And right now, I would love to know your thoughts about Chile. Do you like her as well? And also, again, 
help please when it comes to the translation of her answer in the comment section so right now don't forget to leave your comments below don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well and most importantly don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of this videos in the future for now thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the philippines